One is that if it's produced locally, we procure it locally. But one of the factors that we've identified is that there are different categories of Namibians that through different forms of legislation, whether it's the Const Article 23 in the Constitution or whether it is the Public Procurement Act, there are certain categories that we would try to provide a bit more of a preference when we are procuring. So they include women, uh, youth, uh, MSMEs, previously disadvantaged, uh, manufacturers, and I think those with environmentally friendly practices as required. So with that being said, when we issue this code of good practice, I'm hoping for October, but let's say November, it's a, it's a, it's a tool that will replace the local sourcing directive. So it will no longer exist, but it includes the ambitions of the local sourcing directive to say that if you produce beetroot locally, if you produce beetroot locally, we're not allowed to buy it from an imported source, okay? So we want to stimulate that local uh, pr producing entities. It was a woman who first domesticated crop plants and thereby initiated the art and science of farming, while men were out hunting in search of food. While they were hunting in search of food, we told ourselves we cannot fold our hands and wait for that meat. That's where we innovated uh, crop farming. Therefore, this statement entails that women are major producers of food, earners of household income and custodian of knowledge. Despite the role women play in agriculture, they are constrained by lack of involvement in decision-making.